Sasha von Network News.com over here at the ASUS headquarters in Taipei, and it's time to extend the E Family product line a little bit more with this little device over here that we've already seen in March during the CBIT computer show in Hannover. It's a so called ASUS E keyboard. It's a whole EPC integrated into a keyboard uh, with an additional uh, little touch screen on the right side. Just to let you know about the specifications, an Intel Atom N270 means 1.6 GHz, the 945 chipset, uh, 1 GB of RAM, and uh, this one supports a 30 GB hard disk, but I can tell you right now if the final production sample will also support such a hard disk or if it might be bigger. Um, you can expect these devices getting shipped in October, and they will cost between 500 and 600 dollars, or 499 euros. And um, yeah, let's take a quick look around the system itself. Um, I love this uh, kind of brushed aluminum surface. It's a Schicklet keyboard, as you see, with a backlight uh, LED, which turns on immediately when you're pressing one key. Really cool. Um, when we're taking a look at the back side, you know, that's where all the connectors are. Over here, we have a little Wi Fi dongle and um, a USB 2.0, well, three of them actually, and the connector for your PSU, that's a little uh, switch for on and off, I just can't tell you what they mean right now, um, and the jacks for the headset and the microphone in, uh, an Ethernet connector, HDMI out, and a VGA out. So, well, the more interesting well, the most interesting thing is, in my opinion, this little um, touch screen over here on, on the right side because ASUS really integrated a couple of uh, special applications and software where you can really take uh, advantage uh, of this usual scenario of having uh, a second little screen which is also um, capable of uh, using touch uh, input. So let's let's start from the beginning. Right on the first menu, you just have shortcuts for uh, all the different uh, applications you already have on your desktop, or you can maybe store even uh, shortcuts or bookmarks for your browser. Second menu would be uh, first of all the web browser, MSN. We could log into the MSN Messenger over here. There you go. Let's see what Cameron from Tree Town is uh, saying. So you see, yeah, that, that that's really pretty cool that you can um, use like your messenger in there, and it definitely works. Maybe Cam is now getting a little bit annoyed because we tried this already earlier. So let's get rid of this. Right. And you can, as you can see, you can just. Uh, switch through your contact list. Pretty cool. Um, you have a connection to Facebook. Interesting thing is this is a kind of different browser they're using uh, and it's always connecting you to um, to the mobile versions of uh, these websites. So I could just check my Facebook right now. All right, but let's go back. I think you're getting this. Um, I like this RSS feed uh, application too. So they already have a couple of RSS feeds set up in there. And uh, so you can see this is like um, the Google News um, Science and Technology RSS feed. But you can also easily set up your own ones just by pressing over here. Just get your URL in there. And here your uh, RSS fit would show up. Okay, so but let's switch over to the next applications. Over here we have our kind of our picture folder. Oh, oh these are the ones that are getting connected to your Windows desktop, right? So over here you could just see. Come on. Oh. Well, actually, we are already in the subfolder of my pictures, but there are no pictures in there. So this is accessing um, 
the picture folder, music folder, and the video folder. You have some games over here like Sudoku and Ethnostones. But let's switch over to the next one again. That's the tools and settings. We can do the touchscreen calibration, can set up volume, time, calendar, can even put on a little calculator, you know. That's pretty cool too. Okay, and over here we have something pretty interesting uh, for you guys. Want to practice a little bit of typing? Um, you can just uh, start over here, new game, and then you just type in the stuff. It's a kind of whatever spelling or typing Tetris, which works out pretty well. So let's go back here and uh, let's see what else we have. We could learn Chinese. See, we have different lessons. So, how to spell in Chinese? Why right? it should be E E Sun Su. Right. So, if you want to learn a little bit of Mandarin, and they also have this little application integrated, how to learn Chinese. And the last sub menu would be. Our information. So, for example, we could check out news over here. Let's see how that works. Yeah, these are the headlines, and you can switch over to world news and business news, sports news, and you can also um, customize it which uh, news from which country you want to read. Uh, we have the Google Calendar over here. Let's check out Google Maps. Right, that's that's also pretty cool. By the way, you can also use your mouse to navigate around here, which is kind of interesting for for the Google Map right now. Let's scroll down there. So we are at the East Coast right now. This is Boston. Oh, that's Cape Cod. Right. You see, it it, it works pretty well. So yeah, interesting how ASUS integrated um, a couple of applications that are offering you completely new user scenarios uh, for this additional touchscreen keyboard. Okay, one thing we, we figured out, um, um, they're not using this additional touchscreen like a kind of extension to your desktop. So even though that you can move over the mouse to the right, and it will appear here on the touch screen, as you can see. And I can move it back to the left. We'll go back to the desktop. You just can't move any applications over here to this additional touch screen. So to sum it all up, um, very, very interesting device, the EPC, uh, the e-keyboard. Um, ASUS created a whole ecosystem of additional applications that you can use on this touch screen. I can see how it's uh, extending your usage scenario um, for this little desktop um, PC. And uh, we'll expect our detailed review as soon as this device is going to hit the market in October.